Before I get started, I just want to give a special shout out to Sacred Fire Negro as well as Jump Button CB for informing me on this news and helping me with the details when it comes to this whole thing. So the links to their Twitters and channels, or just their Twitters, will be in the description if you want to look more into what they do and everything. Y'all can do that in your free time, but for now, let's get into it. Now, I've never talked about how insane was it going to be on the Switch, but never have I thought it would have come to the PC. Now, I am aware that Crash Bandicoot is a third party character, seeing as the franchise is owned by a third party company but damn, I thought Insane was gonna remain dead for a while, but I guess not. According to the licensing manager of GBI, which is a merchandise company that Activision has partnered up with, the Insane trilogy will be coming to the Nintendo Switch and PC. However, recently, the article that published this news, or rumor, however you want to look at it, removed everything that was stated in regards to the future of the series, which I find interesting. Activision hasn't come out and debunked this statement, and when you realize that Activision publishes their games on most or all platforms, and say on the Switch and PC is not really a stretch. I can get behind the trilogy being on the Switch because I'll be able to take it on the go. Now, when it comes to it coming to the PC, I'm a little iffy on it. Only because, one, we don't know how it will work necessarily. Like, would the games be separate, or would the whole game with all three Crash games be on Steam? Optimization would be something that would have to be a top priority when it comes to that version of the game. Number two being mods. Now, mods are cool, but I'm gonna avoid all trash mods, especially by weird niggas like this. Other than that, it's cool, I suppose. And if a level editor is a thing, people could put their special or loved levels from various Crash games within Insane. I am aware of the 2019 game shit that was brought up too, but I'll talk about that later in the next video. But yeah, that's all I gotta say in regards to Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy coming to the Nintendo Switch and the PC. I know I'm a few days late, and that's only because my PC got messed up. That's as brief that I can put it. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Peace.